Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com. Tim Tang, I look at all the cool things that I'm interested in at CES. Now, one of the cool things I'm looking at is a Sony Prototype 3D portable Blu ray player. So, if you're into Blu ray, Blu-ray movies and 3D stuff. Keep an eye out for this. You know, it's in prototype mode. We don't actually have it. Uh, know if it's actually ever coming out. Probably will. Probably in the fall or next year. Moving on. You know, this is going to be the year of Android tablets. A lot of companies are coming out with tablets. Uh, you know, Motorola is coming out with their their tablet. Motorola is known for a really good build. However, some people like the interface of the HTC. Um, Android devices. Other people like Samsung um, because of you know the, the Hummingbird and the Power uh, VR chip that they use in their Android devices for if you're a gamer. So check uh, you know so that's a cool thing about Android. You always have different choices uh, to pick from. Uh, Sony is coming out with a 3D head-mounted display. I'm hoping somehow they can enter. Uh, hook this up to a PlayStation 3 for gaming or just watching 3D movies um, you know maybe you don't have a 3D TV and you really want to get a better you know this may actually have a better experience than having a 3D TV because it's since it's wrapped around your head kind of like going to an IMAX movie or something now maybe you don't like Apple's OS maybe you don't like Android OS here is a Blackberry uh, tablet uh, 4G uh, compatible I know a lot of people, you know, they always say, uh, uh, they call them Crackberries. Um, you know, so if you're you're a BlackBerry fan and you like the BlackBerry OS, keep an eye out for this uh, um, tablet device. You know, here we have a uh, Recon Details Next Generation GPS uh, Googly. I guess they might have typed it wrong. It looks like two, uh, three Gs in there. Uh, technology, so maybe a James Bond, you, you, you know, you need a... Uh, um, uh, get away from the bad guys when you scan down the mountain this device will come in very handy here we have a uh, you know uh, you know a, a camera that you can use for Skype in HD or just making YouTube videos in HD you know you can pop this on top of your desktop or your laptop or whatever device you have and a lot of people uh, who are making um, webcam videos for YouTube you know, are stuck in that four by three ratio, where they'll be out of that 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 you know that little ugly little box with the two black bars on the side. Everything is going widescreen, guys. Keep that in mind. Here we have a NEC uh, dual screen and Android uh, tablet right right here. Now, what I like about this is it has dual uh, dual screen. It actually has um, you know it folds like a book, so it will probably fit. In your hand the most comfortable when reading an ebook. You know, with these Android devices, you know, you know, you're looking at getting books from Amazon, uh, Amazon Kindle app, or the uh, Google Book uh, Book app, whatever. So check that out as well. You know, a lot of people aren't really talking about Android 2.4. A lot of it's going to 2.3 and 3.0, but it, Google is working on 2.4 and probably will be a, a stepping stone to get to uh, Android 3.0. Moving on, we have the Samsung Galaxy Player. Uh, guys, if you know, um, I like to review apps and games on the iPhone, and I'm dabbling in with the Android right now. Um, you know, I'm a person who really doesn't want these cell phone contracts because, you know, I got multiple devices. I got uh, an iPhone 3GS and an iPod Touch 4th generation, and I have an HTC uh, Droid Incredible. Now, this, what I really like about the Samsung is they use a Hummingbird and the Power VR uh, processor. Now, the Power VR processor is the same processor they use in these Samsung uh, Droid application, Droid devices that they use in the iPhone. Uh, iPod Touch or the iPad device. So keep an eye out for that. Now here we have DXG various um, uh, vic vic vicarious. Well, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, 1080p. This just looks weird. It looks like you know an Android uh, muted with an uh, you know an iPod video you know classic player or whatever. This for some reason looks weird to me. Here we have the iRiver teams up with LG uh, display and uh, ebook reader uh, clocking at 1024 by 768 resolution. Uh, now, this device will support DRM laced EPUB and 
in PDF files so you can buy um, books from other websites that support that type of DRM. Here we have from Scylla Technologies a weatherproofed uh, HD TV set. So if you're in a pool, you know, you're in the middle of the ocean, and you need a weatherproof TV, this is a TV for you. Pretty sure it probably doesn't come cheap. Uh, moving on, now I did show you the the 3D uh, portable Blu-ray player from Sony. However, Sony is coming out with the regular 2D version of a portable Blu-ray player. So maybe you're going on vacation, you travel a lot. This seems to be a pretty good device if you're into Blu-rays. Uh, Sony is working on 3D uh, capture Cybershot cameras. Now I'm assuming this takes stills. Um, it only seems like it has one lens. I don't really know how they're going to be doing. They'll probably be doing it how YouTube has the 3D uh, technology, how you can con convert your um, your videos to 3D with YouTube. So check that out. You know, here's we have another Sony 3D uh, 3D handycam. Uh, this looks, um, you know, this is a kind of like a, a projector handycam handycam update. This looks kind of interesting right here. I guess it's a camera and a projector. It's kind of weird. So check this out. This does look pretty interesting. So once again, guys, I'm leaving all the linking links in the description box. If you're interest, interested, there's so much stuff coming out at CES. I mean, there's like a ton of stuff I didn't even mention. So I'm just looking at what's on Engadget right now. And I'm just looking at the stuff that interests, interests me. So you may want to go to their site and take a look. There may be other things that interest you guys. So once again, guys, this has been mp4podcast.com. And if this video has helped you, please hit that subscribe button. Please give a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you can be kind enough, please uh, favorite the video. So once again, guys, it's mp4podcast.com. Signing out. Take care.